Welcome to my channel. My name is Rox and I post every Friday. So for today's video, I'm doing something a little different because the 35th anniversary for Mario is out and the direct came out and it was pretty amazing. It was fun. It made me smile the whole way through. It made me feel like a you know little kid to, to kind of discovering Mario for the first time because it was a very innovative direct in my opinion because we don't have Mario themed directs like this ever. I mean, Mario is the biggest franchise for Nintendo of all time almost. I wanted to do something a little different so I wanted to do like a top five good and top five bad things about that 35th anniversary. So first I'll start with number one, the good. Nintendo is going all out with content for Mario and it's awesome. I think it's amazing that they're doing so many different things. I'm glad they did something for the 35th anniversary instead of just saying happy 35th anniversary because with Nintendo we never know if it's going to be all out or if it's going to be just nothing and it kind of it's kind of scary sometimes as a fan to know if your favorite franchise is being treated respectively by its parents and so I'm glad they're doing something the bad thing about it a lot of the content is random and can't be accessed by most Mario fans that's a lot of money for what they showed a lot of money several clothes like merchandise and products that a lot of kids that love Mario can't get and mostly adults that will get but only adults that like are super fans of Mario um, a lot of this stuff isn't for everybody and Mario is for everybody so it's a little random to me nonetheless it's still a really great product that I'm not saying it isn't it's just some of it's not accessible a lot of kids won't be able to get the um, pins from the website they're showing because you have to do these missions a lot of the missions are like easy enough a quiz download an image but some of them are buying a game and a lot of kids can't do that so it's just a little difficult so number two for the good side 3d mario collection 3d mario collection that's oh my god that is so great I just, oh my god bro the 3d mario collection I, we all have been waiting for years and years i'm only 19 but i've been waiting 25 years for this thing like man like uh, i'm telling you super mario 64 on switch that is that's what everybody wanted super mario sunshine we have a gamecube game on switch one of the best gamecube games of all time on switch the music for super mario sunshine the atmosphere in a new it, it it's it's amazing they uh, like upgraded it a little bit um you can listen to all the music in its own like soundtrack file mario galaxy on the switch it's probably working so much better with the joy cons it's so exciting so exciting but the bad side of that the contradiction is it's not fully remastered it's not like it's upgraded to this gen's hardware but it's not upgraded to mario odyssey's capabilities if that makes sense which is what people expected it's not impossible but I guess it wasn't probable, let's be real. No Mario Galaxy 2, which was not strange, but kind of strange to me because now not many people will play Mario Galaxy 2. Uh, I don't think many people played it in the first place, so now even less will know about it, and they got every other Mario game on Switch, and it's a little bit weird. Um, so maybe I have to do a video where the Mario games we need on Switch that haven't been on already, even though there's a ton already. Um, okay, number three bring it back super mario all-stars and 3d world wow 3d world got oh yeah the bowser's fury like um add-on or something add-on pack dlc thing which made me want to play i never got to play 3d world um or land whichever one it is on a wii u i think it's world i do want to play it i want to play it with my girlfriend or something because i think that'll be a great time i want to play as toad or something i don't know i just want to play that game because i love mario games i don't have to worry about and that looks like a game I can 100% complete and have a fun time with. Maybe I'll stream it for you guys one day. If you want to see a stream with me and my girlfriend plays through Super Mario World or something. I probably won't do the whole 100% thing because me and her will just relax half the time. But that'll be funny. That'll be funny. Oh, and let me talk about Super Mario All-Stars. I want. I, I love that game. Like That game as a kid, like the, uh, the collection, the pack for like SNES, I think it was, is amazing. Like that, the artwork... For the All-Stars pack on SNES is one of my favorite SNES uh, uh, box box arts of all time of any game. It's just so nostalgic for I think a lot of people. Just uh, Mario in that like magician's costume is amazing for some reason, and I'm glad to see it back on Switch for the uh, Switch Online, the SNES, SNES uh, NES Online, whatever it's called. And everyone can play it right now if you have it. So I do recommend that it's like updated a little bit. They look good. Um, they play good. 
and I that probably have to be a review. I'll probably review each one separately, of course. You know, gotta get that view. You know what I'm saying? Got that view. But I'll, I'll do a whole like uh, collection pack like review overall too, just for the people that want it. Whew. Okay, we're going through these. Oh, the bad side of that though, a lot of these games are limited time. Um, it doesn't really make sense. Why is that for? Why so specific for these lovable everlasting games? That doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think they end on March 31st. I think specifically for the 3D collection and another game. I don't remember which one. Why? Why? Everyone has been wanting that. Is is that them trying to drive more sales? Is that them being greedy? I, I can't tell. Like, why don't you ever stock your things, Nintendo? Where are the people can't buy Switches now? So I don't understand what's going on. Um, that just kind of annoyed me because now I have to buy it in a certain amount of time and I don't have the extra cash right now. It's kind of a little bit putting anxiety on me because I can't buy like my some of my three favorite Mario games just because it's limited time. Even though it is a couple months, so I will end up buying it probably next year or Christmas, whatever. But let's go on to number four, the good Mario th uh, 35 Anniversary Battle Royale. And why is that good? because it's innovative they it's basically tetris 99 but mario but is it it is innovative you don't see stuff like that from other uh developers other creators other people and i think it's i think it'll be pretty fun at least for the first while i don't think i'll continue playing it because i normally don't play games like that but it, it, it's such a great idea because it's so stupid and it makes kids want to win and it makes kids like strive for that win like a lot of kids play Fortnite for that because they just want their first win. They just want the first uh, first victory royale, whatever. And I think Mario will be the same way. I think there will be a lot of streams on it. I think a lot of creators will love it. But the bad side to that, probably not going to be as good or efficient as Tetris 99. Let's be real. Tetris 99 is it's almost perfect in a sense because anybody can play it and then have fun with it and not be good at it. I don't know everything the themes on it are great it looks beautiful it runs well it's it's just great so I'm hoping Mario will be Mario will be like that because we already have the expectations for the Tetris 99 but I don't think it'll be as efficient as that because Tetris 99 is a whole different uh, function it has the same it, it might be the same genre quote unquote but it's not the same functions as Mario because Mario is actually you have to do uh, the, the level and then you have to plan like getting hit with the, doing enemies getting hit by enemies i don't know how efficient that'll be i don't know how unfair that'll be i feel like Tetris 99 if you're if you get better at it you can avoid a lot of those things and pre-plan ahead i don't know if mario 35 will be like that okay on to our last good and bad number five the good is there's a wide variety and lots of goodies and games to keep Mario Mario fans uh, hooked for another year. Come on, you got the 3D collection, three amazing games. You got the 3D world with the DLC add-on thing. You got All-Stars, another couple games. You got the Mario 35. You got the uh, Game & Watch, which is like an adorable collectible. Um, you got shoes. You got the, the clothes. You got... Uh, pins you got merchandise you got stuff in animal crossing for it you got stuff in um what's the other game you got stuff in like some other game oh you got stuff in mario kart tour the costumes they they really went all out with like their variety and like how much they wanted consumers to pick from i guess um so that is good but the bad side of that is there's so many questions and so many missed opportunities about it like they really spent more time on the weird little things like the game and watch, um, the pins, um, doing like missions on the website, shoes, when there could have been something I think more people would have bought like a, like a Mario 35 anniversary switch or um, a CD soundtrack or um, a new Mario game, even if it's like a 2D or like a spinoff or some weird new franchise like how there's Mario Party, Mario Sports. Um, Mario Kart they could have they could have set a new franchise this year for the new decade and blown people out of the water but they decided to opt for a lot of small things I guess relying on the big thing being the 3d collection but I don't think the 3d collection was that hard to optimize and pour over so it, it's a little bit of missed opportunity from that I think they could have also made um 
I don't know, better optimized things for Mario in general. Like, there was a lot of, it was a lot of small good things instead of one amazing thing. And I know the 3D collection is amazing, but it wasn't remastered, so it's not, like, as amazing as it could have been. Even though I love all the things they showed, and I'm not mad about it, they got that Mario Kart real life thing. I think a lot of these things are really good new projects to work on, but it, it's just so random. It's They could have done them. I feel like a Mario themed Switch would have bought so well, especially since a lot of these are out of stock. It would have been perfect to sell that Christmas season, if that makes sense. I'm not complaining on what they have at all. I'm just a little confused Has like the heads of the company, what were they thinking when they... It just doesn't make sense to a business perspective to profit off of small little random things that people might not buy rather than something that a big thing that a lot of people would definitely buy. That's the only thing that confuses me a little bit. Um, even though I love all those small things like Super All-Stars, uh, 3D World, and the 3D Collection is like, it's like almost guaranteed um, amazing. It's viable for the Switch. It's great. But there's so many things that like they I, I feel like they missed that would have made their 35th anniversary extremely overwhelmingly amazing. Wow, I've been talking for a long time. That's really the video, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. What did you want to see from the direct? What did you like from the direct? And subscribe to see more Nintendo and weird gaming content. Every Friday I post stuff. This isn't my usual type of video, but I wanted to do something a little different instead of just reacting or um, my opinions on it. It is my opinions, but like, you know, you know how it is. So thank you for watching and be here for next Friday or any other random upload. Peace.